I want to give you a little background story about the last video, the most recent video I have up on my video sharing platforms. Here's a link to the Patreon page. Okay. Doop. Let me grab it. And this is Brian Peckford's speech uh, from the Trucker Convoy for Freedom Rally, Victoria, BC, uh, from January 29th. Uh, that occurred on January 29, 2020. Okay, so here's the link, and you can this this uh, video is available on all four video sharing platforms, right? On Sensor Two, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Okay, so the video is about um, is Brian Pickford, right? So Brian Pickford is or was a former premier of. Newfoundland and uh, Canadian and he he's the last remaining architect um, author of the Canadian Charter of Freedom uh, Canadian Charter of Freedom Rights right uh, that came out in 1982 and basically they laid out the the Charter of Rights for Canadians saying you know what our rights are and all this jazz and whatnot right I'll let you look into that further but basically what happened with uh, Brian Peckford and if you really want to know who Brian Peckford is the reason I'm bringing this up now is because Jordan Peterson's name came up right Jordan Peterson just did an interview with Brian Peckford and Brian Peckford has done numerous interviews um, online the last few months right but Jordan Peterson and Brian Peckford's interview is ridiculously important okay uh, for all Canadians really if you want to know who Brian Peckford is and what the situation is and it's in regards to the injections right and I've heard Brian Peckford speak uh, on the in a rally here which was held about a month and a half ago right and he's a powerful speaker right and at that rally that we were we were at there was maybe like 150 of us right and Brian Peckford came out and he gave a speech what a phenomenal speech what a powerful speech right and he's a fantastic speaker okay and I have seen him give interviews online okay with different um, independent creators mm -hmm. a lot of Canadian ones right and I listened to a couple of his additional speeches online as well my partner has seen him speak twice in person in our city he lives in my part of the world right what the first time she heard him speak was in a church and she came back and said oh he's such a powerful speaker amazing speaker blah, 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 blah. and I saw him at the rally so I knew that his speech was going to be extremely powerful right and he's basically fighting for uh, the rights of Canadians right he's fighting for uh, for the Charter of Rights that he co-authored the last remaining individual that's alive that worked on that incredibly important document for Canadians right and he's basically come out and said that he's 100% against these mandates they should all be lifted including the masks the injections all of it tra uh, travel and stuff like this and they filed a lawsuit against the uh, Canadian government um, specifically uh, tackling the travel ban really for those who aren't injected okay by the way gang apologies if I'm not reading the chat I just want to let you guys know give you the background of that video that I uploaded okay now we were at the rally and the rally was my estimate was anywhere between three to five thousand people at the rally okay so we're talking from 150 people in Victoria where I am two months ago at a rally where Brian Pickford was speaking to 4,000 let's say average it 4,000 the announcer said it was 10,000 but I don't think it was 10,000 the organizers I think it was around four to five thousand right so let's say four thousand lowball it right we went from about hundred and fifty people attending this rally the first Peckford Brian Peckford speech at one of the rallies in Victoria to 4,000 people within two months and I knew he was a very powerful speaker right and we and I didn't go there uh, planning to record anything and stuff like this I do enough recordings create enough content I just wanted to go there and and immerse myself in that energy 
right? Because it rejuvenates when you go to these types of rallies, when you're standing up for human rights, right? For your rights, for your, when you're fighting for your country, right? When you're fighting for the future uh, of children for multiple generations to come, right? I just wanted to immerse myself in that energy and rejuvenate myself, right? Rejuvenate the well. But the energy was so intense and I knew Brian Peckford was about to come up. So what I ended up doing was I grabbed my partner's cell phone and I said, hey, give me your cell phone. I'm just going to record a little bit of this because I want to I want to get the crowd right. Because right now there's enough powerful people speaking. There's so many speeches, interviews, lectures out right now that uh, panel discussions out right now regarding what's taking place and, and huge giants have stepped up right heroes like Brian Peckford is a hero to every Canadian right now really you guys have to appreciate uh, the, the the love that's out there for him because he stood up at 80 years old or something he said man I gotta take on this battle this is for the freedom of Canada right so that information is out there right so I went up there went up behind the stage where they were talking we we're standing there on the steps so I went up tried to sort of center the thing because I wanted to get a feel for the crowd the Canadians that were out there right because the mainstream corporate propaganda is not portraying Canadians as we are right they're trying to uh, muddy the waters they're putting poison in the water right they're trying to create division and anger and violence right they're trying to stir shit up right so my intention for that video was to go up there with a little little phone thing just to go up there just to a pan of just a crowd just to show how many people were there i planned on it being like a minute two minutes and i was just going to share that right so i went out there and I, I i was lucky it was just fluke right as soon as i got up there i pressed record they announced that oh he was gonna come up and then the crowd started chanting Brian 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 so I just caught that and I got to the center just as just as he was walking out and going like this right I was like okay this is beautiful right I was watching my screen I go this is beautiful wow like this is like a pretty magical moment right and I panned a little bit further and I got as much of the crowd as I could before I came back to his speech and I and I had only decided and I was holding the holding it up like this like a position like this right I had only planned on recording it for like a minute two minutes because the sound quality wasn't strong enough right to hear him uh, the speakers were pointing out to the crowd right so you couldn't really hear too much of his speech I had already heard him before right and I knew how powerful it was going to be so my thing was I wanted to capture the roar of the crowd right for a minute okay and as soon as I started recording I realized that I was stuck there until the end of his speech because the energy was absolutely magnificent Canadians stepped up and it was it really just amazing right so ended up holding that position for uh, 19 and a half minutes almost 20 minutes I st stood there like this with a little camera holding it to be able to capture that energy so that video is not necessarily uh, centered around what Brian Peckford was saying okay that video was centered around how Canadians felt about what he was saying right I wanted to capture the energy that was there and I think it did a good job it was fluke uh, and um, I just wanted to give a little bit of background to that video because I think it's important to appreciate what that video represents because corporate propaganda and centralized power are try to trying to portray this energy as toxic but it was anything but toxic it was healing it was love it was powerful it was brilliant and uh, huge thank you to Brian Peckford for stepping up 
and huge thank you to everybody that was there and at the convoy let's get caught up with chat